received a Division I at the IHSA State Solo and Ensemble Contest. Please take a moment to silence all cell phones and other electronic devices. Note that we are recording this concert for our Saxon Band Dad YouTube channel. Please be respectful of others if you are planning on recording it yourself. Thank you for coming and enjoy tonight's concert. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Vinny Candino. I'm the music department chair and band director, one of the band, of the band directors here at Chamber High School. Thank you for coming to tonight's concert. Uh, all the proceeds from tonight's concert are benefiting the National MS Society. Uh, the students chose this as their annual charity for our band aid concerts uh, to spread some awareness and also to help support this great cause. We have a representative from the National MS Society who is going to be here tomorrow to talk a little bit about the disease. Uh, for tonight, you're stuck with me. I apologize. Um, so I just want to tell you a little bit about multiple sclerosis. Um, so in multiple sclerosis, damage to the myelin in the central nervous system and to nerve fibers interferes with trans the transmission of nerve signals between the brain, the spinal cord, and other parts of the body. The cause of MS is still unknown. Scientists believe the disease is triggered by unidentified environmental factors in a person who is genetically predisposed to respond. MS is thought to affect more than 2.3 million people worldwide. Within the central nervous system, the immune system attacks myel, the fatty substance that surrounds and insulates the nerve fibers, as well as the nerve fibers themselves. The damaged myelin forms scar tissue, or sclerosis, which gives the disease its name. When any part of the myelin sheath or nerve fiber is damaged or destroyed, nerve impulses traveling to and from the, bank, from the brain and spinal cord are distorted or interrupted, producing a wide variety of symptoms. MS symptoms are variable and unpredictable. No two people have exactly the same symptoms, and each person's symptoms can change or fluctuate over time. Those symptoms can include fatigue, numbness, tingling, dizziness, pain, muscle spasms, depression, among many others. Most people who are diagnosed are diagnosed between the ages of 20 and 50, although MS can occur in young children and significantly older adults. Uh, MS occurs in most ethnic groups, including African Americans, Asians, and Hispanics, but is more common in Caucasians of Northern European heritage. Uh, the average person in the U.S. has about a 1 in 750 chance of developing MS. That's approximately 0.1%. For first degree relatives of a person with MS, such as children and their siblings or non identical twins, the risk rises to approximately anywhere from 2.5 to 5%, with the risk being potentially higher in families of several family members with the disease. Uh, if an identical twin has MS, they share all the same genes, but they only have a 25% chance of developing the disease themselves. This demonstrates that there are other factors, including geography and the elusive infectious trigger that are all likely involved. As of today, MS is not a curable disease. However, effective strategies can help modify or slow the disease's course, treat relapses, manage symptoms, improve function and safety, and address emotional health. Uh, the model of comprehensive MS care involves the expertise of many different healthcare professionals, each contributing in their own unique way to the management of the disease and the symptoms it can cause. The medications are used to help people manage their MS and enhance their comfort and quality of life. Um, as stated in your program, the MS Society helps people address the challenges of living with MS by funding research, advocacy, facilitating professional education, and providing programs and services for people with MS and their families. So thank you very much for coming to tonight's concert again and supporting this great cause. Um, from here on, we will get to the music. So we have several chamber groups for you as well as our bands. So thank you very much. We hope you enjoy the concert. Thank you again for your support.
Alright guys, uh, we're the Pony and the Trio. Uh, my name is Sean, honestly, please excuse my attire. I have volleyball practice right after this. <laughs>
Frankfurt Tellings, Joy Revisited. Joy Revisited is a companion piece to another to Kelly work entitled Joy. The two pieces were an experiment in the creation of two works that used to have the same general melodic, harmonic, and expressive content. The piece was inspired by the feelings that Kelly experienced after the birth of his first child. We hope you enjoy Joy Revisited.
introduce our guest conductor for the evening. Um, you can read more about him in your programs. Um, it's full biography in it. Uh, but Mr. Mark Hangish uh, has been a, a long time music educator um, and has a wonderful high school band programs. You see many of the uh, schools where he taught uh, played for the longest period at Glenbar last high school where he had some incredible bands. Um, and actually, early on in his teaching career, Mark actually taught here at Schomburg High School. Um, so it's, it's been a neat connection for us. So uh, to conduct the last piece for the cadet band, please welcome to the stage Mr. Mark Hankins.
All right. Uh, the conference finishing setting up here. Uh, we have three more chamber groups. Um, as as uh, Robin had talked about earlier in the program, uh, just last weekend we had the IHSA Soul and Ensemble Festival. Uh, we had over 100 events from Chamber High School that participated in and played at this festival at Lake Zurich High School. Uh, our band program was was very fortunate and they did very well. We had 49 of those events. Uh,
then during his work, World War II submarine were sinking more enemy ships, rescuing, rescuing more drowned airmen, and executing more dangerous surface attacks than of any Allied submarine in the Pacific. Having been sunk by its own malfunctioning torpedo, the tanks sank to the bottom of the ocean, 180 feet below the surface. <clears throat> Five sailors managed to escape the tank from the escape trunk, which meant well, uh, the filling the small space with water to, e to equalize the pressure. Having swam to the surface, while avoiding depth charges from enemy ships, the five men were rescued after treading water for eight hours. We would like to welcome back to the stage Mr. Mark English to conduct Esca Escape from the Deep by Brian Ballmeters.
Before our final selection, I just wanted to thank you once again for coming out to tonight's concert. It means a great deal for, for us to see all of you out in the audience supporting music in our community and supporting this great cause in the National MS Society. So thank you very much.